my mom and my agent talked to me. They were like, what would make you like the happiest next year? And that kind of like cleared everything up for me. There was no doubt it was Purdue in my head. It was a no-brainer that I'd have the most fun like if I just came back for Purdue. This past offseason, when Zach was tinkering with maybe going to the NBA, and he decided to come back to Purdue, one of the first things he talked about publicly was, I just want to have fun with my teammates at Purdue. Zach Eady is just flexing his muscles out here. He is going to work. It's been fun to see him come out of his shell a little bit. You see the smile on the face. You see the loud yells and groans after dunks. I think that Zach's been a little more animated this year just because of how hungry he is. As you get in the moment, you feel something away, but I, I'm for sure when I see my teammates doing that, like Braden's got his little thing. And definitely when I see them doing that, I'll get like a little energized, like ready to go. So that's probably what they feel too. I can't imagine being in his shoes being the reigning national player of the year and knowing that every time you step on the floor, you're expected to be the best player on the floor, every single time. But it doesn't seem to bother him at all. There's a lob and there is Big Maple. He just seems to be having the time of his life. Oh, oh what a Edie gets play. on the floor. Jones, the attack and the finish. I mean, this is 7-4 getting on the floor. Purdue had a fairly comfortable lead, so if he doesn't dive at that point, I don't think a whole lot of people even give it a second thought. But the fact that he did choose to dive on that particular play just speaks volumes about how much fun he's having at Purdue. I definitely have more fun on the court this year. This is my last year. Like I really got to soak all everything up, enjoy it. I'll never be able to go through this again. All those things combining, I'm just having a blast this year. Until you have been a part of the Purdue-Indiana basketball rivalry, you cannot fully comprehend how emotionally exhilarating it is. One of the best rivalries in college basketball history, Purdue and Indiana. Certainly if you don't grow up in the state of Indiana, it is tough to comprehend. I wasn't aware of the Purdue-Indiana rivalry before I got here. My favorite rivalry was Toronto Police, Montreal Canadiens. Hockey, that's like the big thing, especially in Toronto. Rivalries, they're good for both teams. Really fuels you. But it also kind of gives you like a villain almost, like you're always working to like be better than them. You want like for Purdue, it's like we want to own the state. I think you have to go through your first Purdue IU game to kind of realize what that rivalry means. Until you step on the court and go through it, you have no idea. The way I came into the rivalry is pretty unique. My freshman year, we had COVID, so it wasn't like, it wasn't real. They can only play crowd noise so loudly. Then my sophomore year, Assembly Hall, that makes you kind of really appreciate the rivalry. That's where he kind of got a sense of, okay, I got to play a little bit harder in this game. It, it means that much more. Ivy with two, step back three. It's no good! Bedlam in Bloomington, number four goes down. Our last two trips to Bloomington hadn't gone real well. Court stormed both times. Ball game! The Hoosiers knock off the number one right team of the country, the Purdue Boilermakers. Anytime you lose to your rival, it sits with you um, for that entire offseason. Going into my last game in Assembly Hall, my last opportunity to get a win in that building, I can't lose that IU in my last, uh, my last chance playing here. I really wanted to go on the high note there. Oh, Edie, the follow. He rips down the rim. Zach Edie, just a national player of the year, like performance. The number two team in the country, strong from start to finish. And then coming here, my last chance to play IU, 
and Mackie. It'll be an experience for me for sure. It'll definitely be an experience.